Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Bobbington here. I'm going to do a little build guide on my dual crit shock nova totems. And I'm going to do a little bit of explaining after we uh, do a real quick map. So let's knock this out and <clears> then <throat> I'll get into it. Uh, first of all, this build is super budget friendly. Um, I'm currently running a 6 link, but uh, I'm level 85 and I didn't even get my 6 link until about level 83, I believe. I've been running a 5 link since then. Um, after the map's over, I'll show you guys my gear. Um, everything together, with the exception of the 6 link that I am currently running, and if you were running a 5 link, it would cost you about 15, there are 10 to 15 chaos in total. Um, so it is budget friendly. I did decide to make this build after uh, ripping with the shavs and about 16x worth of gear, so that's that. Um, the clear speed is pretty, pretty good. Um, I mean, I, at least I think it is. I like how the build plays. It's really fun. And, um, definitely one of my favorite builds this league. The single target is a little lackluster, but um, again, I didn't really make the build for single target. I kind of made it for clear speed. Um, but you guys will see once we get to the boss can be kind of a problem. And this is a uh, triple damage map mod. Um, kind of playing kind of YOLO here, first map of the day, but uh, other than that, the build is pretty safe if you play it how uh, you should normally be playing totems. Just putting them up and chilling back until your totems kill everything. Um, I mean, that's pretty much it. As you can see, um, single target isn't like incredibly good, but I mean, it's good enough in my opinion. Um, doesn't slow you down too much, and the uh, overall clear speed on uh, packs is pretty damn good in my opinion. Strong boxes are pretty instant. Ah, oh, we got some mobs I gotta send up, but strong boxes are pretty easy. Um, this is a T8 map, level 75. Uh, I'm currently level 85. Again, I got 5.4k health. I feel pretty defensive. I'm um, usually when I run into a boss, I'll just throw conch effect in for increased AOE, and it's not that big of a problem. is kind of an annoying boss too, but again, not that much of a problem. Oh, is that the new bow? Nice. And I aired like. Um, swap back in, increased AoE, and keep going. I'll kind of let the build speak for itself here, and then I'll do a little bit of explaining after the map is over. Uh, this is definitely one of the uh, most fun builds I've played this league, and I'll definitely be playing it again in other leagues, and by no means am I done with the build. Um, I hope to take it into mid-90s. I don't know if I'll be going for 100, but um, I've had tons of fun, and the clear speed is great, and it's just, it's super cool to be using a skill that you don't really see many people using. Alright, now let's do a little, um, 
I guess, build overview. Um, I'll go over my gear. Um, my daggers are pretty much just spell crit and spell damage and added lightning to spells to just scale the shock nub even better. Um, so this one's got like 145% spell crit, 6 to 93 lightning damage, 39% spell damage, and this dagger is pretty similar. Um, got pretty much the same stats. Um, and those are the only things that really cost in this build. Everything else is pretty much self-found, so I've got the helm. Um, the six link, now, <clears throat> I didn't even get that until 83, so we'll go over that in a second. Um, it's not required at all. Most of this is self-found gear. Not very good average gear. Just gives li resist life. You know, the usual stuff a hardcore player wants. Um, now the five link I was using was this. Um, I was using this up to 83, and I just got the 6 link recently, bought it for like an X. So that's really the only thing that this build cost me, is an exalt, and that's with this. Now, if I didn't want to spend an exalt, my build could sit around the 10 to 15 chaos and be clearing just as fine, because the only thing I add in is added lightning, and the reason I don't put conk effect in with increased AoE is because the shock nova totems aren't going to cast unless a mob is in range of the cast. So, in my opinion, that's going to reduce your AoE clear speed just a little bit, so I just put in an added lightning, lightning pen, shock nova of course, spell totem, and faster casting. Uh, one sec. Give me a minute. Um, for leveling, um, I used Flame Totem, and I pretty much threw that in the Knight's Hold, which is this, and I used a red socketed Knight's Hold, obviously, and that got me up to like level 60 just fine. Um, I was using Shock Nova Totems at about levels 45 and up, and I was using flame totem and I read knight's hold as single target f until level 60 and it was insane did plenty of damage um, and now my tree um, started scion took the life right out um, grabbed constitution as soon as I could left the rest of the life wheel open and just grabbed it as I went um, in case I needed any life um, I got to totemic mastery as fast as I could and then ancestral bond soon after um, but basically, my tree end game is looking like life, totem damage, increased AoE, spell crit, and more totem damage. Um, Shamanistic Fury is an insane node, gives 48% totem damage. This is a must. And Shaman's Dominion is pretty sick because, as you saw when I cleared the map, uh, there was no time where I was like not putting totems up, so we got 6.8k DPS and it jumps to 7.2 because it does get that 100% increased chance to crit, which gives it more chance to shock, which Shock Nova already has. So with critting your shock and 20% chance to shock, plus I have 10% chance to shock on the tree, plus 42% chance to shock in total because of conductivity, which is a lot of chance to shock plus that damage gets increased even more by Celestial Punishment. Um, dual Totems of Kurt, of course, and just life on the tree, and that's pretty much it. Um, again, the build didn't cost me more than 10 to 15 Chaos, and that was with a 5 link. 5 links blue. Um, <laughs> it really doesn't require that much gear, and the only other spells I'm using right now is Flame Dash. Um, you can use... Um, Whirling Blades with Fortify if you wish, but I prefer Flame Dash, so that's just me. So it really becomes up to you. But the clear speed of this build is incredible. It's incredibly defensive because you can just place your totems and let them do the work. And 5.4k health, it's so fun. Level 85 Talisman Hardcore, I'm having a blast. And clearing T8, T9 maps, and I hope you guys decide to try out my build. Uh, check me out on Twitch, Bobbington333. Um, and thanks for watching, guys. Y'all have a good one.